In today's tutorial, learn how to do the Catherine wheel stitch in a square instead of doing it in rows. This is really quite cool. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to focus on doing the Catherine wheel stitch but as a square. I'm going to show you how to do the basic principles. We've done the Bovarian square which is uh, very uh, similar to this. I've changed the stitch work in order to make it work. Also there is a pattern for treble crochet. So this is the double crochet version and you can see that it's a lot more smaller. So if you look at the comparison of a treble versus a double this is exactly what the difference is. So you put up the two sizes together it's a huge difference between the size of the stitches. So whatever you prefer is great for you. So today's version is doing the double crochet just like this. When working on the Catherine wheel stitch what we're looking at here is that every circle is made up of two sides. So we're going to be doing one side as we do one pass around and then we do the other side in the second pass. So every two rotations we're actually completing a circle. So what you're looking at here, I've just changed the color just for demonstration purposes. So one the pass we're going to do the bottom half and in the next pass we're going to do the top half. On the corners what happens is on the first pass we're only going to complete just one quarter of the actual circle and then in the second pass we're going to complete all the way around and when you look at it from this perspective all the way over here is that you can really clearly see that's what's happening right here. So when you look at it from a, a, a round perspective if you, as long as you understand that you see quarters and three quarters here and then halves on the other ones it makes it very easy to follow along. Um, I've actually changed some stitch work in order to make it really balanced and really fill this in really quite nicely. The yarn that you're looking at here is the Karen uh, Simply Saw Party yarn. It's got a bit of sparkle to it and it's actually quite nice. So this is pretty cool. And finally before we move on to the tutorial you should know that the Catherine wheel stitch is a bit of a yarn pig because it's very dense. So if you like an afghan that's really quite uh, dense you can't really see through it very well because it's a nice thick material this is one for you. I prefer my afghans over like that versus lacy and really ones that you can see through. So I love this stitch. The Catherine wheel stitch is my ultimate favorite crochet stitch. I learned it when I was 14 and it's been my go to for many many years. So this is a really cotton but cool idea. So today I'm going to be using a size 6 millimeter size J crochet hook a Bernat super value but just be aware that you can use any size crochet hook that you wish. You just gotta make sure that your, com your yarn complements that you hook as you go along. So without further ado let's get started right now. So let's get started. I'm using a 6 millimeter size J crochet hook a Bernat super value yarn and we're going to just create a slip knot to begin. The written instructions for this pattern is available on my website. I put a link in the more information of this video in order for you to follow. So let's begin. We're going to start off by doing the center ring of the square and we're going to chain four. One, two, three and four and coming back into the very beginning just insert the hook, yarn over and pull through and you have your very center ring of your your square. So let's create our first round. So in the first round what's gonna happen because the each one of the circles that we're gonna do is a corner we're going to be just completing the yellow half that you see here for each one and then in the next pass we're gonna complete all of that. So if you can visualize that it's a lot easier. To do that we're going to chain up four. So one, two, three and four and we're gonna do a four double crochet cluster. So in order to do that we yarn over go into the center of the hook, pull the yarn through and pull through two and hold. And we wanna continue to do that until we have five loops on our hook. So yarn over, center, pull through, pull through two and hold. So you're not finishing your double crochets. And you continue to do that to a total of four times you will have five loops on your hook. As Soon as you have all five, yarn over and pull through them all and then what you need to do is just chain four, one, two, three and four and then single crochet back into the center ring just like this. To begin we have to just chain one first and then single crochet back into the center of the ring. Okay and now we need to chain four. So we're gonna do the first quadrant or the first quarter of one of the circles. So we're gonna chain four, one, two, 
three and four and simply coming back into the center of the ring we're going to do a four double crochet cluster and we're going to yarn over insert into the hook or into the ring pull through pull through two and hold. Okay yarn over into the ring and hold and continue to do that until you get five loops on your hook. So yarn over into the ring and hold. So now that we have all five we yarn over and pull through all of them and then what we need to do is chain four. One, two, three and four and single crochet back into the center of the ring. So this is one partial quarter circle of one of the squares that you see. Okay, so this is just like this. Okay, see how it comes to a point like this? So to continue along we need to do four of these so that we have all four uh, circles. So to start the next one we chain four. One, two, three and four and then do a four double crochet cluster. So we just coming in, center the ring, pull through two and hold and we continue to do that until how many loops do we have? That's right until we have five loops on our hook or yep on our hook. Okay there's your five yarn over pull through everything and then chain four times. One, two, three and four and single crochet back into the center of the ring. Now if you're running out of ring space it's just sitting on the ring so you can move stuff around. So let's start another one. So chain four, one, two, three and four and then yarn over and do a four double crochet cluster again. I did the Catherine wheel stitch when I was 14. Loved it. Loved it. It's been my go to ever since. I love the way it looks. I love the denseness of the fabric. Once it's done it's great. Once you get your five loops yarn over pull through all five and chain four. One, two, three and four and then just keep shifting around that circle if you're running out of space. Single crochet and now we have four or uh, three done already. One, two and three. We have to do one more. So chaining four, one, two, three and four. Yarn over and do another four double crochet cluster. Try that again. Okay and how many loops do we're looking for on the hook? We're looking for five. So let's pull through. Okay and then chain four. One, two, three, four. This is the last one. So what we want to do is we want to join it to the beginning single crochet that we started with and now you should appear to have four starting circles just like this. So this is the what you're looking at. So pretend this is the yellow. This is what you're looking at it from this point of view. So the next round we're gonna finish all of this big area using the same color. We're about to start the next round but I wanna explain something about a circle to help you. What you're going to be noticing that each one of these circles are made up of 16 posts going all the way around. So what you've just done here is that you created only four. Do not include these uh, chains that you've already started. So there is four here. So in order to get to 16 how many more do you need to do? You need to do 12. So if you understand that concept that every time you do a quarter like this that how many that you need to do in order to um, get to the total amount it's just so much easier. So when you're doing the, the halves along in the middle you have eight down here, eight up here which makes a lot of sense and then of course um, when you're going to do any of the ones just in the solo inside it's only four and then you have to come back later and get your other 12 done. So it just makes a lot of sense if you can visualize the circle from a, a 16 point perspective. So the next revolution is what is only gonna happen in this revolution here because once we get this one done the what's gonna happen is the ones that dip down in the middle they're gonna get more and more and more and the corners will only appear obviously every four times within your, your particular rotation. So we're actually doing all four corners this time in this revolution. That's what makes this one unique. So to begin the first one we're going to chain one first and then single crochet into the same stitch as you did the join. And now we're ready for the first uh, quadrant. So if this is four we want to do a total of 12 double crochets into the center. Where is the center? Do you see how everything is kind of leaning and then there's a spot right here where everything is coming to? That is your center point. So yarn over and double crochet 12 times into that same stitch. So this is, I'm gonna count it out. So it's two, three, and four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve. So now I've just added my 12 in there. So I've got my four already in there from when I started. Here's another 12 which gives me my total of 16. Once you have that done, what you need to do is that right in the beginning or middle here, there's a single crochet. Just single crochet into that same one. And we're going to restart the next corner. So what we just have to do is double crochet, look for the center of the next section of the cluster and put in 12 more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So once you have that done, look for the middle single crochet. Just pull it apart if you have to. There it is right there and single crochet into the same one. Please do that all the way around. You have two more to go and you can see it's really starting to come together. So this will be the first rotation around with all, with the complete circle showing. So do the continue. So just 12 into the next uh, cluster here and then followed by a single crochet in between and then 12 into the next and I'll meet you back right here. So I'm now come all the way around. I've got my 12 in the final one and I just wanted to join it to the beginning single crochet just and just like so. So now this color is done. So you can kind of see that the circles are actually uh, formed here. We're just going to just trim this yarn nicely and I'm just gonna carefully weave in my ends just like so. So I'm just gonna yarn over and pull through and I'm just gonna bury it underneath all this stitch work into the stitches. And what's gonna happen in the next round as we go into these same stitches it's gonna lock this yarn permanently into position so you don't ever have to see it. And I like to trim my tails as I go so once I get it locked in then I just go back and I trim and then I'm just gonna come around, turn around and I'm going to get this back one right here out, out and it's good to go and I'm basically ready for the next color as we go. So as we look at this now and ready for the next color, so we have a bit of a different situation now. So now we have to start off, we're going to have corners. We're gonna start off in a corner. We're always gonna start off in the same position. Doesn't matter which way that you turn it, it's always gonna be the same one. So whether you're right or left handed or whichever video that you're looking at, it's where I'm pointing to. And then we're going to, we have to create the first quadrant. So the first four uh, posts of this one and then we have to create the under layer here of the dip that's going down. So when we pull up my example again, if it's in the blue, so we're gonna be creating the blue section that's gonna fill in right in the middle and then on the ends we're going to do the quadrant. So basically we're back to doing the yellow again uh, for this particular round and then in the next round we do then the other side. So I'm gonna prepare my yarn and get started with the slip knot and I'm going to insert it onto my hook. So here's the trick on where you gotta start. When you're doing this particular pattern, we're going to be using the same stitch twice and I'm gonna explain that in just a moment. So you wanna pull it apart and you can see that this is the start of the circle. Okay, and you wanna count to the fourth one. So one, two, three, and four and that's where you wanna insert your hook. So insert your hook into the fourth one right there and I'm gonna let the straggler come out of position and pull th the yarn through to attach. You are going to chain one and then you're going to single crochet this one. So just uh, just go in, okay, pull the yarn through and hold it and you're going to go into the next one. This is a single um, together, a single crochet together and you're going to go to the next one. So you have three loops on your hook and then you're gonna pull through all three. So what we're doing with this particular stitch is that we're making these two into one in this next revolution so that when we're in between the circles just like so there's only one single crochet there and that's why we're doing that. So let's uh, begin to do the next part. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four and coming back into the same last one that you were just in, you were going to do the four double crochet cluster. So you're gonna come in, pull through, pull through two and hold and then do the next three. So you're gonna do the four 
so that you, you have to do it so that you have a total of four of these posts captured. Like so. So you'll have five loops on your hook. So you have, don't, don't look at this one. You have four and you're gonna yarn over and pull through all four. And you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. So here's the trick. You need to come back into the same one that you just put that last one into there. Okay, and we're gonna do a single together, or a single crochet together. So you're gonna pull through and hold and you're going to go into the next one, pull through and hold. And then yarn over and pull through both. And again, it's the same principle as before. We're just making sure that there's only gonna be one single crochet available to us in between the circles that we are going to work with. So let's fill in the bottom half, how we do it. And this is the same every time, no matter where you are in this project, it's always the same for the bottom half. We're going to chain four first. One, two, three, four. The reason for it is that we need to make sure that it's a half moon shape. In order to do that, we need to have the chain extended so it's right in between the circles so that it's a perfect circle. So we're going to uh, start over and we're going to do an eight double crochet cluster. Okay, so we're gonna bring everything together. So we're gonna yarn over and go into the exact same one that you just were in. Okay, you have to include that one. And yarn over and pull through and hold. And what you're going to notice is that there's going to be four posts on this side. We are going to skip the single crochet here and get four on this side. So we always have to skip this middle single crochet. So let's just continue along. So yarn over and pull through and you want a total of nine loops on your hook and you should be physically able to see that you pulled in. So I cut four on this one. I've run out of stitches because my single crochet is next. I'm just immediately jumping to the next one over here and going to start collecting four on this side of the circle. Like so. Okay, so now we have a total of nine loops on our hook. So you have four grabbing from this circle, we have four grabbing from this circle. So yarn over and pull through all nine of those loops. And then chain four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to show you all of this again. So once you have this done, you have to come into the same stitch where you just finished that last one. And we're going to do a single uh, crochet together. You're gonna pull through and come into the next one pull through and then pull through all three. So let's do the next corner. So the next corner we chain four, one, two, three, and four and we're gonna come into the same one that we just joined on with. Okay, it's the last one of the single together decrease and just start collecting. And we're only wanting to do this with the total of four times so that there's five loops on the hook. Okay, pull through everything and then chain four. One, two, three, and four. And coming into the very same one as the last one you just did for that one and the next one. So it's a together decrease like so. So do you see it coming together? So let's do the middle one again. You already know how to do this. You're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Coming, starting at the same one that, of the last one you just were in and you're going to do an eight double crochet cluster. So you're going to have four collecting on this side before you end up hitting that single crochet in the middle which you're going to skip over and immediately come into the first one of the next one. So one. So I kind of go one, two, three, four. I skip the single crochet and then I go one, two, three, four. I just do it that way. It just keeps it easier in my head. So I just wanna quickly check is there nine? And I say yes. And so once we get that we pull through all of the nine loops Okay, so nine loops, there will be eight here but there will be nine loops. Yarn over and uh, chain four times. One, two, three, and four. And then just join it back together with the last one here as a decrease and grab the next one. And then pull through all three. So we'll be doing a corner one more time. So chain four and then do the four uh, cluster. Double crochet cluster, come into the same one that you just were in. Okay, and then start collecting. There will be a total of four stitches you wanna collect. You will have five loops on your hook. Pull through all of them and then yarn, or chain four times. One, two, three, and four. Back into the same one that you were in. 
plus then the next one to make them one. And continue to do that same configuration all the way around. I'm coming up all the way back around and I wanna make sure I have my five loops on there. So you gotta make sure when we started we did a single together decrease right here. Okay, we need to make sure we're still getting into that last one where the first one exists. Okay, because when we have been working on it all along we have been going into the back one. So you see that this one is going into this one, this one is going into this one where this exists. Okay, so we have to make sure we do that on the very end as well. So we, we have our nine, I'm pulling through all of them. And then yarn over and uh, chain four times. One, two, three, and four. And we're just going to join it to the beginning single crochet. And we're not gonna fasten off this color but what we have now is that we have the first uh, set of the next round circle. So the, now the next one we're going to complete off the green and let's do that next. So whenever we stop and start we're always stopping and starting in the same position. The only difference is that we continue to move outward as the square gets bigger but it's all in the same corner. So to begin the next round we're going to chain one and you already kinda know how to do this because you already did it here. The only difference is, is that we have middle circles to worry about which is very simple. So we chained one already and we're single crocheting into the same one first and then we're putting in how many double crochet is there. Well if there's four here and we need a total of 16 that means that uh, 12 need to go into the center of the four double crochet cluster. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now this whole 12 concept is only gonna exist on the outside of a corner. Okay, everywhere else it doesn't. So it's gonna exist over here, here, and here. So once you have your 12 in, you are going to single crochet in the, in the, in the single crochet that it's there. So these two came together to become one. You're just going to single crochet into that same one. And then you're going to do the top half of the circles that are in between. So the top half if you have eight here and the circles consist of 16 that means that we have to double crochet uh, eight times into the center. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight, single crochet into the single crochet that's here. So by now you've run into another corner. So if you're working in the middle and there's more than just uh, one here, then you're just going to single crochet and then start again. So if you have another one, let me pull up the other example while I'm talking to you here. So for example, you have more circles here. So once you get your eight done you single crochet then do another eight single crochet until you ran, run into the corner once again. So to do the corners again is that we've single crocheted so we're just going to double crochet 12 times to give you the total of 16 that you need in order to successfully turn the corner. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once you get that done, single crochet into the next single crochet that's available to you and you back now in between the corners with the ones in the middle. So you see here you have your eight done. That means that there's gonna be another eight on top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so if you had more of these in the row you just single crochet again into the next one and then if you were still going along you do another eight until you get to the corner. Corners again have twelve. 
So continue to do that all the way around. I'm gonna show you how to get started once again uh, when we get back over here and then basically this pattern should be easy for you to follow along. When you get all the way back around you're gonna finish off your eight and then just join to the beginning single crochet that you started with and then we're just going to finish this color. So let's fasten this off. Grab on your next color. You can be any colors that you wish. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this in a rainbow color once. It's kinda cool. Um, I enjoyed it for myself. You gotta crochet for yourself sometimes and pick colors that mean something for you. And I actually did uh, one with double strands of doing a rainbow and I used it for when I was a truck driver because um, because it was double strand it would actually keep me better uh, <laughs> warmer at night time especially in the winter months when driving a truck. So uh, what we have here is that we're just gonna finish this off. Let's grab on our pink once again. It's called peony pink if you're ever looking for it. We're gonna start off with a slip knot and we're going to always join in the same spot. So I can see where I stopped here. Okay, so I stopped right here. But you can pick here, uh, here. It doesn't matter as long as it's always in the same uh, general location. So it's always in the upper section just like this. You are going to join on where you've done the single crochet. Okay. You are going to join on where you've done the four posts. So you just gotta look back again, pull it apart, making sure that you're looking at everything properly for it. Okay, so there it is here. Okay, so this here is the chain line in between. You don't want that. You want to count up to the fourth one. So just pull it apart. One, two, three, and four. Going into the fourth. You've already done this in, already in this tutorial. So pull through. Okay, and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Do a four double crochet cluster. So just wrap into the same stitch where you did the join. Pull through and hold and do the next four, uh, three more. Put the straggler down on top so that you can bury it underneath. Like so. You should have five loops on your hook. Pull through all five. Okay, and then chain four times. One, two, three, and four. And then come down and single crochet into that, the same one where this one is already existing. Pull through and then do the next one. So it's a single together, a uh, single crochet together decrease. Okay, just like so. so once you have the two together. Now here's the thing. I just did an outtake by accident. I just had to reset myself. What happened was when I was here, accident went to the third and not the fourth. Therefore I ended up with five uh, posts on this side instead of four and that throws off the count. So if that ever happens to you and you're running out of stitches just do a quick double check to make sure that you got the right count. Now here's the neat thing about this is that when you are on the underside here so when you're uh, completing for example the blue that you see here you can be off by a stitch or two and it really not notice too much and I'm gonna show you an example. So here's a great example here. On one of the rows that I forgot to put in my extra 12. Do you see it? Right here. So I accidentally put in my 8 here instead of my 12. Do you see much of a difference? It's a little off but you know what? In the next uh, revolution that I just did I redeemed myself by just kind of uh, flubbing it a little bit and you can do that with this pattern very very easily without a problem. So let's uh, just continue along. So this is a great uh, forgiving pattern because you don't wanna be frog and stuff because usually when you notice an error on this it's usually kind of like way back when. So let's uh, begin to do the dip. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then coming back into the same stitch that the last one that you did. I wanna make sure it's a little tighter than that. So coming into the same one through two and hold and we want to get the four remaining on this this particular circle. So I can see that I got three so far. Do the final one. I skip the middle single crochet and come into the next one for the next circle. So one, two, three, and four. So I have a total of eight. So therefore there will be actually uh, nine loops on there. Pull through all nine and chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then just come into the same one that this is joining to. And we're doing a single uh, crochet together decrease. Pull through 
pulling it through the next one and then pull through two and then start it over again because you have another one to do before you hit the corner. So one, two, three and four start in the same one that the last one you were just in and collect these ones. So for example, say you accidentally did seven instead of eight, you can get away with it pretty easily uh, with this kind of stitch if you just kind of, you know, flub it a little bit. It's really in the next round that counts the most when you're going up over top because you're kind of using all the stitches on the top sides of these. So you have your nine in there, so pull through. Your nine loops are on the hook, you have your eight in. Pull through and chain four times, so one, two, three and four. Same one as the last one, next one and then bring them together and then your corners are always the same. One, two, three, four, same as the last one for your four uh, double crochet cluster. Pull through all five loops. One, two, three, four, same as the last one and the next one for a decrease single crochet together decrease and then you're ready again to go across the bottom just like so and then another corner. So you basically are getting the pattern. Uh, this is exactly how to do it. You can go as big as you want to. Um, with this it'll always lay flat. Um, it does a really great look and it's just a really overall fun pattern. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. Enjoy this pattern. Again the written instructions are in my website are on my website for you to enjoy. Until then we'll see you.